already, folks. It is one of my favorite times of the year. It is the Feel the Heat Chili and Soup Festival in Bedford. I got a whole bunch of chili and soups to test out. We'll find out who the winner is. of course uh, looking forward to seeing what else is out there uh, keeping my options open I don't want to pick any early winners just yet I only have tried a couple of them but uh, the town is packed they're bussing people in and uh, I thought getting here early I might have been able to beat the crowd but now people are out here in full force everybody All right, folks, I came, I saw, I ate a lot of chili and soup. There were some really spicy ones this year. Oh, but it was so delicious. I wanna thank downtown Bedford for having me out. I guess it's time to make my picks. Ooh. Yes, and here they are, <laughs> if you didn't see them on the weekend news, my chili picks. For most creative chili, it went to Golden Eagle Inn for their white alligator chili. Ooh. Oh, sounds very Interesting. And my pick for best flavor chili was from the Bel Bedford Elks Club and their braised beef short rib chili. Ooh. That one had a real nice spice to it. Yeah, That's why that I sounds good. It. Uh, for soups, most creative was again from Golden Eagle Inn mm. with their rabbit and dewy sauce gumbo. Oh. I thought I would, I probably would have picked it for both, you know. Flavored and creative, but That's I how good it was. that was really good. Yeah. And for best flavor, I picked 1009 <laughs> Kitchen's sausage corn chowder. Ooh, Ooh that yeah, one that's sounds really good. nice. There were a lot of like hearty chilies, hearty mm. soups. Uh, I went home, you know, drive from Bedford, come back here, yeah. laid down. I'm just full <laughs> of just soup, and I'm just like, I don't want to move. Happy Saturday. I don't want to 